Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Welcome back to Chapter 5 Vectors. In this video, we will proceed with the last part of 5.3 Vector Product to find the area of parallelogram at a triangle. This on the parallelogram diagram, let AD as a vector A, AB as a B. As we know, the area of parallelogram is height time base. By Pythagoras theorem, to find the height of parallelogram, we can have sine theta equal with h over magnitude p. By making the h as a subject, we can have magnitude p sine theta. Then we substitute h into the formula and we're going to have magnitude b sine theta times with magnitude a which is the base. We arrange the formula, we can have magnitude a, magnitude b, sine theta, and we can change to be magnitude of a cross b. Then, the area for triangle will be half of the area of parallelogram. So, we can have half of magnitude a cross b. Okay, so to plot the points for the parallelogram, we're going to have A, B, C, D. So either anti-clockwise or we can have it as in clockwise rotation. So let's try a few examples. Example 10A. If A and B given find the a cross b hence determine the area of parallelogram determined by vectors a and b so first of all we have to find a cross b so by expansion of determinant for the i component we can have 0 plus 4 for the j component we have 10 minus 4 and for the k component, we have negative 2 minus 0. So the product will be 4i minus 6j minus 2k. So to find the area of parallelogram, you have to find the magnitude of a cross b. So we're going to have square root of 4 square plus negative 6 square plus negative 2 square. So we're going to have square root of 56. Then it can be simplified to be 2 square root of 14. Okay, next one, example 10b. A plane contains 4 points. If four points form a parallelogram, so we have to find the coordinate for D and the area of parallelogram. So by making the point in terms of anti-clockwise rotation, and I let D as in X, Y, Z coordinate. So to find the coordinate for D, we know that midpoint of AC is equal with midpoint of BD. So find the midpoint. And then we simplify it first on the left hand side. And then we have to compare for each component. So by simplify, we're going to have the x equal with negative 1. And then for the y, we're going to have equal with negative 5. And then for the z, we can have equal with 4. So coordinate for D will be negative 1, negative 5, 4. Okay, let's move to part B. So to find the area of parallelogram, we're going to have two vectors. So I take it the BA and BC. So find the position vector for BA and BC first.
and then we have to find the cross product between VA and VC. So for the I component, we're going to have negative 3 plus 12. For the G component, we have negative 6 plus 4. And then for the K component, we have 12 minus 2. So the product will be equal to 9I plus 2J plus 10K. So in order to find the area, we have to find the magnitude. So it's going to be magnitude of VA cross BC. So we're going to have square root of 81 plus 4 plus 100. So we're going to have equal to square root of 185. Easy, right? Okay, so let's move to the last example. Example 10C. So given three points in the space where we have it U equal to AB and V equal to AC. So by given two position vectors, find the area of triangle ABC. So you have to find the U cross V first. So by expansion of determinant, we're going to have for the I component, which is negative 2 minus 16. For the J component, we have negative 2 plus 20. And then for the K component, we have negative 4 minus 5. So the product, we have it negative 18i minus 18j minus 9k. So next, find the magnitude of U cross V. We're going to have square root of negative 18 square plus negative 18 square plus negative 9 square. So we're going to have square root of 729, which can be simplified to be 27. So the area of triangle ABC half of vector product we can have half of 27, so we get 13.5. Before I end this video, this is the summary for dot product and cross product. So I hope by this summary, you are able to understand about dot product and cross product and able to differentiate about these two concepts. So that's it for now. I will see you again in the next subtopic. Take care and bye-bye.